I'm back. Hopefully for a quick video, but you know how I just ramble on forever. Um, I have something I want to show you guys today, and uh, I'm going to save it for towards the end. First, I'm going to get back into some of my uh, comments from the previous videos, things that uh, I'm being corrected on, which I appreciate. Uh, I'm very open to corrective criticism. It's pretty tough to offend me. You can tell me I suck and I don't know what I'm doing, which some of them did, and uh, I have no problem with that. I do like it if you say, you're an idiot, you're, you're defending Siege wrong, do it like this, rather than just say I'm an idiot and I'm doing it wrong. Tell me what you like to do if, if, uh, if uh, you know better than me. I don't know, I'm trying not to sound like I am offended, because I'm not. I really, don't, I really don't care, to be honest. Um, I have pretty thick skin, and I know how the world works, so what are you going to do? Uh, there's way more important things about life than letting people... First of all, when you go into world chat and, you know, we have a bully named Cheerio on our on our server. He's he's verbally abused. He, whenever you call him a bully, he's like, it's a war game. You can't bully people. But he verbally abuses people like no tomorrow. And he's just full of hate. And people get so overreactive to him when he comes on. And if somebody can control you with words, and obviously this goes in real life, at work, at home, whatever. Anytime you get more than two people together, you're always going to have issues. So any organization that has more than two people, often more than one, you're going to have issues. If they can control you with their words and make you angry and uh, impulsive, um, they win. I mean, you're never going to win. It's the people that can sit and listen to an argument and not be offended and almost understand the other person's side of view um, that's going to make it the furthest in the world. So just don't don't let people control you with words. Uh, do whatever you can to get over it. I know it's not always possible, but how about you increase the uh, uh, amount of percentages where you don't let people control you with words? Moving on. That wasn't even supposed to be on the agenda. So um, I talked about Godfrey and his ascension made no sense to me. And uh, I was corrected um, politely in this instance that uh, his ascension made no, or uh, covenant made no sense to me that it, it was in city for a guy that's never going to be on my wall. Well, apparently this is a reinforcing general. Um, so in city covenants will help when you're reinforcing a keep. Uh, I don't think it would work in a temple. Now you guys are going to correct me on that too. Um, but so that, that was the, uh, the mistake there that I, that I made or learned, I should say learned, not a mistake. And then, um, somebody mentioned that, uh, what is her name? In, Indu or she's a reinforcing general. Um, here, uh, I done it done. I don't know. Um, at the end of the video, I'm going to say I done, but, um, she is a reinforcing general. I shouldn't say reinforcing. Like, uh, if you read her stats, uh, when defending outside the main city, this does not work. Her stats do not work when you're reinforcing a keep. Red Ebony had a really good video about who's the best reinforcing general. So uh, if you're not listening to Red Ebony, sometimes he's basic. Uh, his voice is pretty decent and entertaining you know so that helps listen to videos i think genghis's voice is pretty entertaining even though he rarely gives me anything that's usable the stuff that's usable he keeps hidden until it's out in the open and then he'll tell you about it but uh so when i say he's entertaining you know he's easy to listen to um sometimes he uses stuff that's super basic and then sometimes he gives you good stuff so and it, i recommend you at least start his videos and if they if it's something you don't want turn it off but some of them that you can learn from. The one he had, uh, one one of the videos he had this week um, was with reinforcing generals, and uh, they did a bunch of testing, and uh, it was pretty interesting. So um, he found out that these stats do not work when you're reinforcing another keep. So it would just be if you're trying to protect the temple and battlefield or, or the wonder and whatnot. So um, uh, I should have stayed on Godfrey for this next comment. Um, Eh, it wasn't Godfrey. I have a general that I don't have all three. Hey, look at it. Oh, shoot. Spoiler alert. I'm going to cover that later. Um, 
it was somebody that I didn't have all three. It was uh, it was the other Prime, my least favorite trans. Okay, so oh, it wasn't. Uh, I have a general where I don't have all three of the support generals, and one of the comments was, as long as this button is green, the covenant works. Uh, I know that's not true because that covenant is green just to let you know that they have the ability. I do have some that aren't open and they don't have any of that. So I'm still trying to prove that um, covenants where you don't have everybody would still be active. I just wish I could remember who the heck that general was. We could take a look at it right away. I don't want to waste any more time on it. Um, it's it's one of the covenants, and I don't have all the support generals. And I kind of wanted the stat. I need to build them up because it was a range debuff. It was only like 5%, but you're just always chasing stat after stat if you can get it. Um, yeah, I don't know who it was. Interesting, interesting. You guys probably saw me scan over it. All right. We'll, uh, we'll move along. Um, Unclearon and Otter were talking about who they use for their wall generals. And they are, I don't want to say swear by, they really enjoy using Queen Boudica. And I assume that's who they ascend. And then Brock is their assistant. Um, I'm still thinking about pumping this guy up. I spent all the way to the final... I'm just missing the final uh, covenant, and uh, I might just throw him on my wall again. I don't want this guy when I'm fighting against Siege, but everything else, I think I might just uh, slap him on there and play around with it. I mean, that would give me a ton of stats for my my ground and mounted. Uh, I always want to call them walls, but then you get confused with the wall, the uh, front line. Um, so, uh, Boudica, I don't have a problem with Boudica. I just think everybody knows what you're doing when you're using Boudica. It was kind of insinuated that I don't like Boudica because I'm I'm using uh, Richard Linehart and Unclear on said I have no idea what I'm doing basically by using him. I think I'm just fine with the amount of stats that I gain from him. Uh, again, I used to use him solely because he was good and looked like I was incompetent and people would be more likely to attack. So, um, Queen Boudica, you're basically buffing up your, your mounted troops, but it doesn't make a lot of sense for me in the fact that, I mean, t I'll take the ground stats, but most of you are ghosting your mounted troops. I use mine as bait. So this would help me. But most of you are are uh, ghosting your mounted troops, so the percentage stats are barely helping your T1 layer. You want That's what your flats are for on your refines for your wall general. That's why you go everything mounted flats on your wall general because that's the only real chance you have to make those T1s into something great. Um, so, I mean... If you haven't seen my first couple of videos, I do the math that it shows you that how exponential a flat stat helps your lower troops. Anything under, I think you started breaking even on percentages around T10s. So anything below are going to do much better, and you can't debuff a flat. So it, it, it was ginormous. I, I don't need to recover that. Um, if you guys want me to cover it again, throw it in a, because you can't look back at my past videos. I think I only have like 10 or 20 videos tops. Um, I did one video on my BMW and I bet that really confused the hell out of you guys. I was just doing an upgrade and it was, it was not well documented on the internet. So I wanted to do my own and I ended up making it into a, yeah. Okay. Um, let me know if you want more BMW videos. Uh, do you need a crypto update too? Hang in there on crypto. We're we're we have seen astronomical selling and the price barely went down and it kind of held. So crypto is fine. 
Um, I'm all over the place here. So then uh, Frosty Draco said, do you have any interest in All-Stars at all? Heck yeah. I mean, if I could make it. I mean, I'm in an alliance where we lose at least half the time. And if you're going to make All-Stars, you got to win every time because I forget the math. I think if you lose, your points are cut down to, I think, 60%. It wasn't half. But so if you score a thousand points, you're only getting 600 points per thousand. So um, if you lose, if you win, and I, I, I like that because obviously it hurts me, but it keeps people from point trading or yeah, point trading, you know, because then people would just be zeroing each other on each other's walls, so they both could get into all stars. So that kind of keeps the spirit of the of the game where it needs to be so heck yeah if i could somehow get lucky enough to get into all stars um kerg who i featured in the last video the siege guy um he's got his wings his red wings but he qualified for those three or four times now and he's in all stars again as well so if you want somebody to root for they're up against neo's team and they're going to get destroyed so if you like rooting for someone who's going to lose at least he didn't tell me he's going to lose, but let's face it, I wouldn't gamble on him. Um, that being said, let's move on to the next one. Uh, it was also related to siege attacks. Uh, what was his name here? Oh, you know what? I think I took a copy of the comment here. I think you're getting smoked by siege. You just don't have enough siege. Uh, I've seen people with lower siege buffs take 3,000 hits, which is what Kirk was hitting with, and comfortably win because they're built properly, basically saying uh, I'm not built properly. Um, your buffs are not the problem. You're just buffing troops you don't have at the moment. Odd choice. So that's a, the nicest way possible. He could call me an idiot, I guess. Um, the next guy says that I'm too small. I waited till I was 10 billion. You are just giving points away. What am I doing with this photo here? There we go. Um, yes, probably way too small, which makes it even more confusing while he's trying to work on his defense. Uh, here, I'm going to give you a love just because... Oh, I can't do it from here. That's a picture. Uh, just because I love the criticism. Um, basically, the guy says, Edward, you need to get your siege bus before you get your siege or you're an idiot. So um, I can't have any more siege because I they all will die when I get attacked by a siege bomb. So I'd be giving more points. Uh, this guy should actually be saying I should be giving away less. I should have less siege, um, which would make it tougher when I'm taking on rally, like range rallies and stuff. You know, I, I'm trying to make my keep so I can... I, I, I go offline, unbubbled in SVS, and I'm 2.3 billion power. So I'm trying to make my keep and i don't recommend that at all by the way i have faith in my alliance to green bubble me whenever i get down to uh nine eight hundred nine hundred million power uh because there's probably people on my yeah we'll leave it at that um so i wouldn't do that during key key ke or or anything like that but when I, I, my alliance has the ability to green bubble me i have no problem going offline especially because i'm sitting in my hive i'm getting the alliance buffs and I have a ton of reinforcements. It allows my team members to get points. Often they get more points than I do because they're doing the killing and I'm absorbing the hit. So um, it, it helps them get some chests when they know they can't drop their bubble to fight anywhere else. So um, I want to build my keep so I can handle all attacks. And that's another reason why I leave my, my mounted troops out there as bait. They're going to hit. They're going to create some damage but i'm gonna win on points we're all gonna get points it's better than looking like i don't have anything for them to kill and they pass on to the next guy uh so again i'm, I'm covering what i've already covered in the past so we'll, we'll be done with that um what i did want to share with you is i were i need two generals for the hall of generals general hall three and uh, I got one today, and I've been trying for him for a long time. Like, I call Ebony out, like, their odds are not what I thought they were. I didn't even know this guy was good. He actually seems somewhat tempting. He's an SVS general. Isn't he? 
Okay, yeah, all, his, all his stuff wasn't showing up. So, um, I mean, he's got a ton of range troop attack. I wonder if I could use him as assistant. Uh, I would, well, I'm definitely not going to be um, ascending him because it took me two years to get this guy in the first place. A lot of General Hall 3 chests if I open. I, I'll bet you I opened 2,000. I don't know. I'm, uh, it's probably not realistic. A lot. A lot. Um, so, I don't even remember what stats he gets me. I think he gets me a couple things opened up. And we can do it together. Um, I don't even know where my General Hall is. And you guys are listening to me. Uh, General Hall... Okay, so the one guy that I don't have yet is this clown, Bernatrad, Bernatrand. Um, he should be an easy guy to get. He's been around forever. I don't have him. I will start trying to get him now. Um, and I'm not just trying to get the Epic Story uh, General Premium. I'm trying to get the stats out of this guy. So I'm going to fumble around it. You guys can laugh at me, but I get to get this one now. I don't care about this stuff. I mean, it's okay. I'll take it. That's not why I want this guy. Now I need to remember where I go in to get these things opened up. Birth of a Civilization. That looks cool. I don't even know what that is. I know a lot of people will change their icons here so that people don't identify them, but uh, I don't want... See, I always look as meek as possible, so I don't want to put a good one up there. I want to put one that most people have. Um, I, I don't need to... Uh, can I say this game is really just a big penis contest? I don't need to show people that I'm compensating. I'd rather them attack me. Um, how do I find these again? I know I struggled with this before. Should have went in here before I started this. How do I open up my other buffs? Is it in here? Civilization treasures? No. Civilization equipment? Glory. Glory. Nope. <laughs> I was so confident. Oh man, you guys are gonna love this in the comments. This is this is good. Not civilization treasures. I did this last time I talked to you about it. And it took me a while to find it. And I really don't want to start and stop the video. Because then i got to do a lot more editing. It's a pain in the butt. I'd rather just keep it as one chunk. So, put it on half speed. Uh... Gosh darn it. Is it in here somewhere? Ranking friends, active skill. I know it's somewhere dumb. You'd think it'd be right in the general hall, wouldn't you? General hall. Art treasures? Art treasures. Huh. There we go. All right, I am an idiot. I should have remembered that. So I get to open this thing, and it's going to give me 20% ground and range defense and oh, on in city and in city range troop attack and i'm hoping i can upgrade this a few times it looks like i can so let's just see uh how far we get all right that's where i land uh that'll get me 175 percent in city buffs that i didn't have before today so uh I don't want to say well worth the wait because I think it's BS that it took that long to get that general as many times as I opened that chest, but I'll take the upgrades. Got to look at it again. Um, yeah, yeah, all three of those stats are, are very helpful for me. I'm starting to get the value of increasing the defense and HP of my range and siege. I know all the big players talk about it. Um, I always feel like I got to beef up that, that main wall. That or not the wall, the front line ground and mounted. But uh, I, after getting hammered this weekend by Kerg, I do want to uh, buff up my my siege a little bit. And uh, I don't ever really lose my range. 
unless maybe my siege are done and they kept siege bombing me. I, I, I don't know if that would work or not. That being said, the video is long enough. Um, I've been posting a lot of videos lately. I've been having a lot of fun playing the game, and I've been super busy. So I haven't played much at all in the last three days. But uh, I'm, I've am i got stuff to do. I'm having fun playing the game again. I know you guys got to listen to some of my my crying crybaby videos about Ebony can ban me if they want. I'm using bots and all that stuff. Um, the Bob actually w was fun, even though a lot of people got hurt when they didn't need to. It was It was something to do during the week. And uh, all these stats that I'm still trying to build up is somewhat entertaining. The Senate and everything else I've been working on. So now, that being said, uh, I don't know when my next video is going to be. But now that I'm having fun, I may be posting more than less. Talk to you later.